It's the Andy and Dave Daily back on the Muskegon Channel after uh, yesterday's uh, little technical difficulties there. I am Andy O'Reilly. That is Dave Cagley. He's looking good in his tie today. He's got his big grin on. Ah. He's very excited and a shiny forehead. It looks like you may have had a haircut. I had a haircut. I got a waxing in. Feeling good. You got a waxing in. Yes. Underneath my uh, shoulder blades on my back. Really? Yes, I went to this uh, nice Asian lady in Caledonia. Yeah, and uh, she ripped the hairs out. Really, uh, with the hot wax. Yeah, and it, you know, remember when I got that tattoo or, or my tattoos? Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't hurt uh, nearly as bad as that did. Really? Now I've I've had this done before. I usually get it done twice a year, but this was, I mean, um, I don't want to say painless because yeah. they're ripping hairs out of you. Right. But uh, it, it wasn't bad. Fifteen really? minutes. 20 minutes, done, feeling good, ready yeah. for ready for uh, beach weather. Nice. <laughs> who, uh, who, who's looking at your back that you're you're worried about the, the appearance? Well, no, I just, you know, when I when I take my shirt off at the beach or I'm outside and the weather's nice, yeah. you know, I don't I don't want a lot of, you know, okay. I don't I don't want I, I like I, it's not like I'm Sasquatch or anything, but, right. you know, I, I had enough there to where it's like, yeah, I want to get rid of it. How did you know? It just, it just looks better. How did you know? Well, I've seen my back in a mirror before. Have you really? Yes. Do you have a third eye in the I back sh- of your head? No, I shave. Well, I have to shave my neck. Oh. You know, because my neck gets hairy. Oh, okay. So, and that's when I had started noticing, like, well, I've got some little, little bit of a bush there behind the uh, under the shoulder blades. Little winter so. bush. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't have that. <laughs> no, no winter bush. That's not good. What was that song by Carly Simon? Winter Bush? No, her other one. <laughs> You're I, so vain. Yeah, oh, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> that's the, how'd that go again? Uh, You're so yeah. It was either directed at James Taylor or uh, what's you. his face? Yeah, it was you. No, it was not me. Yes, it was. I'm not that vain. Yeah, well, okay. Say say what you will, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking all right. Yeah, there's still right. a dent there. Don't worry. Yeah. All right, what do you got going on in the news there, Slippery? Well, the 22-year-old British man believed to have killed 22 people during a suicide bomb attack in Manchester, England Monday had ties to al-Qaeda. God. According to a U.S. intelligence official, Samuel Abidi received terrorist training in Libya in preparation for the attack at Manchester Arena. The United Kingdom has raised its terror threat level to the highest category, and I believe uh, three more people have been taken into custody in the connection with the attack. Want to know something? What? We're next. You think so? Yep. For something like this? Yes, I do. Soft targets. I, and well, so I've said this for years. I am shocked that that hasn't happened yet. It, it, and, and you but, know this Ariana Grande chick? She kind of caters to little ones. I mean, the, the, yeah. these are the 8, 9, and 10-year-old fans of, of music. That, that, right. that This is just disgusting. And I'm, I'm here to tell Not you what. Awful. Be ready, because we're next. Uh, it's and it's one of those things. You look at at like medium sized cities in the United States. You look yep. at shopping malls. Yep, those are the areas that I would be concerned with. School. I mean, I you know I don't want to put fear into anybody's heart, but it's just something you don't need to be scared of, but you need to be aware of. Yep. So I, it's hope, just you know, it's 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 really an awful time, and and you know I, yep. it's it's every religion has been corrupted over the years. And right now it's Islam, and it, it's a, it's a shame because Islam is really not that way. You know, well, every religion has had its had its its dark days, and you know we're living through the Islam stuff, and it's it's terrible. Here's the problem: is it is a small minority. I know, but it's a small minority that is extremely loud. Yep. And it is you got to keep in mind. I've said this before: when you you may you, you look at say Christianity, you look at Islam, Islam is 700 years younger yeah. than Christianity. Yeah. So you're dealing with a group of people whose mindset is about 700 years behind yep. most of the rest of us. Yep. So it's – and once again, that's not with all Muslims, obviously. I was going to say, yeah, a sect of people that are dealing with It's a with sect. Them, yeah. It's a sect of it that is adhering to uh, a Stone Age, basically, uh, interpretation. Yeah. So It's a mess. 
Uh, what else is going on? Pope Francis and President Trump met for a <laughs> half hour earlier this morning at the Vatican, likely discussing topics from immigration to the U.K. terrorist attacks. Despite their publicized differences, the two men presumably attempted to find common ground on denouncing religiously inspired violence. The Pope expressed heartfelt solidarity with those affected by the Manchester attacks. I'm here to tell you what. The, the private time between Trump and the Pope... I'm willing to bet Trump got his ass reamed nonstop from the Pope the entire time. Because, dude, look, look at the Pope. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the the tr Trump shows up in a motorcade with this guy and that guy, and the Pope pulls up in his Ford Focus and says, <laughs> look, he really did. <laughs> and then the pictures of him standing next to each other. Uh, I mean, you're the Pope. If you can't put a smile on your face to stand next to somebody, <laughs> well, you're what kind of creep do you have to be next to? Well, you, know, you know, the the Pope said himself, and one of the you know it's one of the the reasons he was meeting with Trump. It's like he he likes to hear other people out. He, he had mentioned oh, that you, know, sure. you don't want to judge somebody <laughs> until you hear hear them out. And I I assume that's what was going on behind closed doors. And I like the fact it was just between the two of them. I like the fact that we don't really know what they talked about because, quite honestly, it's. I can tell I you. I don't want to. <laughs> He but, broke it off in Trump's rear. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was probably just a very cordial conversation. Okay. There's sure. not going to be an the, the the Pope's not going to. It's not like he's going to take him to the woodshed. Let's not get you're you're going. But you're having flashbacks to your elementary school Catholicism with the nuns. Well, there was some of that. Yeah. I'll yeah. That. That's what, did you see? Did you see the yesterday when um, he and Melania Trump were walking in Israel and she Melania. swatted his hand? Yeah. Oh, that was such. That was way overblown. No, it wasn't. That was Did way you look overblown. On her face? Who cares? I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, women and men, sometimes, you know, sometimes a girl doesn't want her hand held. Oh, right. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you're in a you're in another land where that's not something that's part of the custom. Okay, yeah. You know, that or could be Or you're married to a dick lot. and <laughs> she what? doesn't want to hold his hand. <laughs> I see, I just thought that got way too much attention, no, and this is what it. this is what bothers me with that some of, with some of the coverage. No, dude, this is what bothers me, me with some of the coverage is you've got a really serious thing like whether or not he may or may not have strong armed the former head of the FBI. That's a real story. Yeah. But you got all this other noise, all this other crap going on that gets. That gets coverage, and you're worried about – people are talking about whether or not Melania wanted to hold his hand and, and crap like this. And, and making everything – I said Melania. You screwed her name up. I did not. It's Melania. Yes, you screwed her. You said it was Melania. You messed up her name. No, I didn't. Any, yes, you did. Go back and watch the show. Yeah, I'll watch this later. I'll and, bet you uh, will. I will reprimand you okay. via text. Oh, reprimand? Are we talking yeah. about reprimands now? Uh, <laughs> Should we get into yesterday? What? What happened? <laughs> What are you talking about? What happened yesterday? What we had a we had a technical issue. I don't know what what was what went on. It's fixed now. Oh, hey yeah. Pinocchio, what? Your nose is growing. What are you talking about? I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. No, I seriously, I'm completely in the dark. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who couldn't log in? I couldn't log in because I didn't know what the <laughs> it had been since in like two months since we had. And since who I had, had to log in? Who who had the notes on his desktop that he couldn't figure out how to open to get the username and password? Well, I had yeah, but in those in that username and password didn't work. I haven't found my pennies yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, issue next story resolved. Why do we gotta you? go back into the past? It's just I'm just asking if we're gonna get well, if I, we're gonna get through reprimands here. There's no re what? Oh come on! All right, <laughs> enough, enough of that. A recent Grand Rapids traffic stop study that found black and Hispanic drivers being pulled over at twice the rate of whites may have been flawed. An unsolicited review of the study by a local consulting firm showed that the areas where those traffic stops occurred were in places with a high volume of police calls and likely high crime areas. According to the analysis, the stops needed a better benchmark to measure the racial proportions of crime involvement. So hmm. it's, it's one of those situations where... They're, they're, look, they're racist in every Everywhere. part of society. No. Yeah. Okay. But the idea that the, that the Grand Rapids Police Department in, had a general practice of just pulling over black people because they were black or that there's this, this unconscious bias, uh, it, you got to have, if you're going to make those, if you're going to, if you're going to say that, you really have to have 
a, a better way of shining a light on it than a than a flawed study. Yeah, and I, just, I am one. I really that, that narrative has always bothered me. I am one that thinks that you can get a, a research report to say just about anything you Absolutely. want. Absolutely, you really can. It's the way you ask the questions. It's mm-hmm. the way you stack them. It's you know you you can lead people in a research thing to kind of give you the answer that you want, and yeah, I I just I'm I don't want to. That's as far as I know. Yeah, that seemed like that might. I mean, I I don't want to. You don't want to say anybody's doing that because I don't have proof that that that's what what happened. Right. But right. once again, if you if you're in an area, if you're if you're just just surveying an area that has a high volume of a certain ethnicity of people, you're going to get more of them stopped. Yep. It's just, I mean, that's just common sense. Finally, the 6th Annual Muskegon County Veterans Job Fair brought nearly 80 vendors and 500 job seekers to L.C. Walker Arena on Tuesday. The event was open to veterans seeking a new career or looking to change careers. Those who attended could apply and be interviewed on the spot. According to the state of Michigan, April's overall unemployment rate was 5.5% in the state, while the veteran rate, 3.2%. Wow. So nice to know that the veterans are getting employed. I mean, they're... They're protecting us. They they do things that you know you and I don't have the balls to do, and it, it's good to know that they're uh, they're getting jobs, they're getting careers, and uh, they're not being left behind. Yeah, I was there yesterday. I did a uh, call yeah. in and said, "Hey, get down here," and it was it was nice. Yeah, it was an, it was good a nice little expo and job fair. Yeah, it was cool. So good for them. Sports Tigers fall to Houston six to two. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. They beat Frisco four to one, and it was Cleveland over Boston one twelve to ninety nine in Game Four of the Eastern Conference Finals. They lead that series three to one. Of course, Golden State has already advanced to the NBA Finals. That's sports. Who Golden? The Golden State Warriors. What are they? They're a basketball team. Basketball. Yes. They still play basketball on TV. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. It's the. You may have heard it. It's the, it's the Great American Game. No, I would, that would be baseball, wouldn't it? No, that's the national pastime. Ah, the Great American Game is is, yeah. is what you say is it's basketball. Hoops. It's hoops. Hoops. And the, the the passion is the NFL. It's it's there's the there's there it's I, I'm talking I'm sorry I'm, I'm talking over your head a little bit. I okay, apologize. yeah, well you, you got it exactly. Dave, go have a great Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>